हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स हिअर इन दिस व्हिडिओ सिरीज आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ ग्राफ अ नॉन लिनियर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर बिफोर मुव्हिंग टू द कंटेंट आय वुड लाईक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स अँड कीप द बेल रिंगिंग लेट सी वॉट डिफरंट टेक्निक्स आर देअर विच आर useful for the traversal of graph so they are the first technique is dfs which is called as depth first search traversal technique which helpful while traversing a graph going into depth the another second one technique is breadth first search traversal technique where it is called as bfs and if you want to traverse the graph level wise then this breadth first search technique is helpful here in this video session i am explaining you the breadth first search traversal technique bfs traversal technique for a graph data structure so first of all let's see what is an idea behind the breadth first search traversal technique so whenever you want to traverse a graph in the breadth or in the same level this is the main concept behind the breadth first search traversal so whenever you want to traverse your graph into the same level we have to keep the track of the current node to return back to the same node to check for its all adjacent nodes so whenever you want to traverse the graph into the same level then the concept of q data structure is very important and with the help of q data structure you can implement breadth first search traversal very efficiently so let's start with the breadth first search traversal with the salt example here i am explaining you the bfs traversal with an algorithm and with the salt example so if this is the graph with you and here suppose if i want to start with the jaipur how or what will be the breadth first search traversal so first of all it will be jaipur then it's the rest of the elements which are at the same level are gandhinagar then mumbai then we can see the bangalore hyderabad bhopal and then we will go for punjab and raipur how we will get all these things in the uh with the help of q that i am going to explain you before that let's see what will be the algorithm for bfs traversal so first of all a very first step is to insert any arbitrary node of a graph from which you want to start the breadth first search traversal technique on a rare end of a q and we have to mark it as visited and the first step is to delete the vertex from the front end of the queue whatever you have inserted as the first element from which you are going to start the bfs traversal that node you have to delete first will be the first step and you have to display it after that your second step is whatever the number whatever the vertex you have deleted in the first step for that node for that vertex what we have to do we have to insert all its adjacent but unvisited vertices on the rear end of the queue here whenever you are going to delete the vertex you have to find out all its adjacent unvisited vertices and that unvisited adjacent vertices you supposed to insert into the queue and simultaneously you have to mark them as visited once you have done with all its adjacent vertices then you return back to the step number 1 and delete the vertex which is present at the front end of the queue and you have to display it. again for the deleted vertex find out all its adjacent and one visited node and that you have to insert in it into the queue in the step number 2 and mark them as visited you have to perform these tasks repeatedly this is nothing but your step number 3 so here in the step number 1 and 2 whatever you are going that you have to repeat until your queue is empty so this is the algorithm these are the steps this is the logic behind breadth first search traversal technique now let's start with the traversal for a given graph as i explained previously we are going to start from the jaipur now here first of all we have to use a queue data structure 
and initially we are going to insert the starting vortex arbitrary vortex that is nothing but jaipur now after that we have to mark it as visited and after that you have to delete the front end of the queue so let's delete it and display it into the bfs traversal now let's find out the all vortices which are adjacent and unvisited so here you can see that jaipur is connected to gandhinagar mumbai bangalore hyderabad and bhopal what does it means it means that all these vortices are adjacent to jaipur insert them one by one so first of all gandhinagar then M mumbai then bangalore then hyderabad and then bhopal here you can see that after insertion of all the nodes into the queue they are marked as visited why we have to mark them as visited because here the graph is we have used as a data structure and they are connected with different nodes if we are not going to mark them as visited we will never come to know that whether this vortex is already inserted into the queue or not to indicate all these thing we supposed to mark them as visited now here you can see that we have done with all adjacent vortices which are inserted in the queue one by one now it's turn to go to the step number 2 to delete the node which is present into the front of a queue or at the front end of a queue so let's delete gandhinagar from a queue and display it for gandhinagar let's check whether all the adjacent vortices are already visited marked or not here you can see that mumbai and panji these are the two vortices and the jaipur again all these three are the vortices which are adjacent to gandhinagar from which jaipur and mumbai are already visited they are marked as visited but the panji is remaining which is not yet visited so what we have to do we have to insert it into the queue so here you can see that i have inserted panji into the queue and as it is inserted here you just observe i am marking it as visited by changing its color now here we have done with the step number 1 as all the adjacent vortices uh, sorry step number 2 as all the adjacent vortices we have uh, uh, already or uh, either visited or if it is not visited we have inserted into the queue now it's turn to go to step number 1 and we have to delete the element which is present into the front of the queue so let's delete mumbai and display it for mumbai let's check for its all adjacent vortices they are gandhinagar jaipur bhopal uh, bangalore and the panji all are visited so here we are not going to insert them into the queue let's go back to the step number 1 to delete or to retrieve the front element of a queue is nothing but bangalore and display it for bangalore all the all its adjacent vortices are already visited so skip the step number 2 let's go back to step number 1 and whatever the element present at the front end of a queue delete it and display it here you can see that for hyderabad all the adjacent vortices are bangalore which is visited jaipur which is visited bhopal which is visited only the raipur is remaining which is not yet visited so insert it into the queue at the rear end after insertion here we are marking it as visited and let's move back to the step number 1 to delete or to retrieve the element which is present at the front end of a queue which is nothing but bhopal so let's access it delete it and display it in a bfs traversal for bhopal here you can see that all the vortices are already visited so skip step number 2 return back to step number 1 and delete or access the front end of a queue and display it then again the last element was present was raipur access it and display it so in this way you will be having the breadth search traversal for a given graph is like jaipur gandhinagar mumbai bangalore hyderabad bhopal panji and raipur so in this way we can traverse the graph into the breadth search traversal i would like to give you one note over here is like first thing is we can choose any of the arbitrary vortex it is not at all compulsory to choose the vortex 
uh, which is present into the top you can choose any of the vertex the next thing is while inserting the adjacent elements into the queue there is no any sequence we supposed to follow you can insert the adjacent vertices in any of the sequence only you have to take care about you have to only insert the elements the nodes the vertices which are unvisited and which are adjacent so by applying these many steps it may happens that you may get somehow the different bfs traversal for given graph so don't worry you supposed to follow only the steps and if you have followed the steps correctly then though you are having a different sequence of bfs then also it will be okay why this happens because graph is a data structure where there is no any upper limit on the out degree of any of the node or any of the vertices which is not the case with the tree data structure tree data structure a binary tree data structure there is a limit on the number of child nodes so that's why every time we are getting the same set of sequence of the vertices after traversal of a tree but this is not the case with graph as there is no any upper limit on the out degree of any of the vertex so that's why you just have to take care of the algorithm that you are going to write down that you are going to implement should be correct and then you will get the correct output so here you can see that your queue is empty your all nodes are visited it indicates that you have done with the breadth first search traversal technique so thank you all dear friends for listening and watching my video please do not forget to give the comment if you like the content and the video if you like the content and the video do share it with your friends if you are having any query then you can post your query on to the comment box i'll try to solve it here i am providing you a shortcut link for the subscription of my channel along with the next video of this video series and the whole video series i am providing you in the form of playlist thank you stay tuned with tech talks happy learning happy data structuring thank you